In entertainment news, millions of fans across the nation tuned in last night to see the High School Tony Awards, celebrating the year's most outstanding achievements in high school theater. Usually relegated to the row of lunch tables separating the jocks and the nerds, it was these students' time to shine as they strode down the red carpet. The night's highest honor was bestowed upon actress Catherine Dippold, who won the coveted Best Blonde Maria for her pitch-perfect turn in West Side Story. It was such an honor to get to work with all the seniors especially the ones that played Bernadette and Consuelo. It was a big night for newcomer Miss Dibbold, who also received the award for Most Awkward Kiss. Angela Harris received a standing ovation after her moving portrayal of Benny South Street won her best girl as a guy in Guys and Dolls. The head theater critic for the Ridgewood Weekly Ranger praised her performance as, quote, totally amazing. Eric Foss surprised few by winning the award for least consistent Cockney accent. Insiders say his revolutionary performance as Tiny Tim in a winter quarter production of A Christmas Carol was a shoe in for the prize. Thank you very much for this here award, lads and lassies. The role also earned him a nomination for most exaggerated limp. Best performance in a pre-show prayer circle was awarded to Meredith Moe, who was surprised to also find herself a winner for most sexual tension produced in a pre-show massage circle. Meanwhile, at the Technical High School Tony Awards, the prestigious Best Lighting of a Gym Award was won by Wisconsin's Nathan Hale High School technical crew for their production of A Turn for the Nurse. This is only the fifth year for the technical ceremony, which was held in the parking lot in back of the theater so that attendees could smoke.